Welcome to another session with the Open Book. Today, let's take a brief look at the Vedic Age. But before we get into the Vedic Age, we need to talk a little bit about the Aryans. We know that some of the earliest excavations in India date back to 2200 BC and are associated with the Indus Valley Civilization. Now, around 1800 BC, the urban or city-based civilization in the Indus Plains declined. A new culture and civilization emerged in India with the coming of the Aryans. The Aryans came from the Russian steppes in the area around Caspian Sea. The people who lived in this area spoke languages that are now recognized as part of the Indo-European family of languages. The Aryans entered India from Central Asia between 2000 BC and 1500 BC. This large group of nomadic cattle herders crossed the Hindu Kush mountains and came in contact with the Indus Valley civilization. Soon they settled down in India and began to spread their empire, pushing previous inhabitants deeper south. But how do we know so much about the Aryans? We read about them in the Vedas. The Vedas are the most important source of information about the Aryans. Written between 1000 to 500 BC, the Vedas have provided historians quite a bit of information about the Aryans. There are four Vedas in all, Rig Veda, Sama Veda, Yajur Veda, and Atharva Veda. The Rig Veda is the oldest of these and contains 1028 hymns dedicated to gods such as Agni, Varun, and Indra. The period when the Vedas were written and when the Vedic way of life thrived is called the Vedic Age. This period roughly lasted somewhere between 1500 BC and 600 BC. It is divided into two major parts. The later Vedic Age, which lasted from 1000 BC to 600 BC, and the early Vedic Age, which spanned the 500 years before 1000 BC. The Aryans were divided into tribes. The tribes were cattle breeders and were called Jana or Vish. The Vedic king or Rajan was the leader of the tribe. He protected his people from the enemies, maintained law and order and offered prayers on behalf of the tribe. He was assisted by the priest or Purohit and assemblies of elders called Sabha and Samati. The Sabha was an assembly of selected people while Samati consisted of the entire tribe and anybody could express his or her opinion. The Aryans were a fiercely social group of people. The family or Kul was the basic unit of their society. The father was the head of the family and was called Grihapati. Several families formed a grama or village. In the early Vedic society, women were highly respected. They attended assemblies and public meetings and could also choose their husbands through a ceremony called Swayamvara. Ancient scholars like Patanjali and Katyayana mentioned that women were educated on par with men in the early Vedic period. Let's talk a little bit about the social classes during the Vedic period. The Rig Veda tells us about three social classes based on the kind of work that they did. The Brahmins or priests performed worship for the welfare of the king and the people. The Kshatriyas or warriors protected the people and the Vaishyas comprised the common folk. The Shudra class emerged by the end of the Vedic period. There was another class of people called the Dasas. These were probably the descendants of the Harappan people and served their Aryan masters. But how did this social structure work with their economic life? Let's find a little about that. In the Vedic age, agriculture and animal husbandry were the two main occupations and wheat, barley and rice were cultivated on a large scale and they bred cattle, horses, sheep, goats and dogs. The Aryans also knew the art of weaving, chariot making, carpentry, leather, and metalwork and pottery. They primarily ate barley cakes, milk, ghee, fruits, vegetable and meat. Their dresses were made up of cotton and wool. The Aryans were also great sportsmen. Their favorite pastimes included chariot racing, hunting, horse racing, playing dice, music and dance. The Aryans were primarily pastoral people. 
they feared nature and regarded it as sacred. The sun, wind and the rain became their gods and goddesses. Indra was the god of thunder. Agni was fire. Vayu was the wind. While Surya was the sun god. Among the female deities, Aditi was the goddess of the cosmic order. Usha, the goddess of dawn. And Aranyani, the forest goddess. Prayers were chanted in the open and fire was an important part of all religious rituals. Yagnas or sacrifices were performed to please the deities for the protection of cattle and also for the growth of their family lines. Thanks to their strongly social nature and structured norms of living, the Aryans prevailed over the existing cultures and the Vedic age was a long one and Aryan thinking dominated the Indian subcontinent for a good 1,400 years and went on to influence a lot of the Indian culture that we have today. Thanks so much for watching.